Sure, David. So to start, uh, really, the U.S. government's been thinking about lasers for some time, uh, especially since the uh, end of the 1960s, early 1970s, there were classified research and development programs on chemical lasers. Uh, this grew throughout the 70s and the 80s, reaching its apex with the Strategic Defense Initiative. And for those who know what that is, that's the Star Wars program in the 1980s that a lot of people uh, heard of. It was a $30 billion program that wanted to integrate lasers, railgun with a centralized computer for essentially uh, defense against ballistic missiles uh, on Russia. Uh, it sounds very cool. It sounds like it was a, you know, a very interesting idea, but I think reality set in and they realized that the technology really wasn't where they needed it to be. So after the 80s, there was this hangover of reality that slid down. A lot of the uh, budgets for lasers dropped. So there wasn't a lot of research and development throughout the 80s. And between the 80s and the last couple of years, it's been fairly stagnant. There's been some ups, some downs, but there hasn't been really a lot of uh, focus in the engineering and development stage. So there's been a cyclicality of this spending, and that's generated a lot of skepticism, which is why for a number of years, um, there's been a lot of risk for inventing uh, or, or investing in lasers. Uh, that's actually changed from what we've seen in the last couple of years. We're essentially reaching a tipping point. Uh, where the technology, the threat, and the business case for lasers is really setting the stage where it could catch fire uh, in the next couple of years. And the third offset is something that the U.S. government is focusing on, and that's one of the reasons why this is being driven through. And I bring this up because the third offset is what's driving a lot of the technology investment in the U.S. government. And the U.S. government is going to be the one likely to drive lasers to uh, a future operating environment. Now, the third offset is essentially a way for the U.S. to gain a technological advantage over adversaries. The first offset was during the 1950s with uh, nuclear uh, weapons. During the 80s was the second offset, and that was stealth and precision munitions. And the third offset they're looking for right now, there's a number of technologies, uh, whether it's autonomous vehicles, quantum encryption, AI, railgun, and lasers is a piece of that. It's essentially a horse race. Which technology can you invest in to put us at an advantage? And lasers, uh, both solid state um, and directed energy, are really kind of a focus uh, of the U.S. government. 